here. Please, I can't live here anymore because you stalked me. That's why I'm here. These are the Charles Perry Stalker Podcast. This is Cynthia Ortiz. It's the 13th of August, 2023, Sunday. So what does he say right here? She she has this little blurb here. Did he really just say, I don't care what you want? After she said, leave me alone. Um, this is why most women don't feel safe. Um, Mr. Perry pestered me again all day today. So we got more intel. When you contact me, we get more intel. When you pester me, when you take my money, things don't go well for you. You're seeing things happen you've not seen before, your guy said. When you contact me, we always get more intel. When you contact me, we always get more intel. When you make me broke, when you take from me, we always get more intel. All day long, he pestered and pestered and pestered and bothered and bought, just like this guy. Mr. Perry, I don't want you. I don't like you. You turn my stomach. I've said that over and over and over. You're raping me. I'll define how you make me feel. You're raping me. You're rejected. You're told on. Rejected. Day after day for 10 years. It isn't a week. It isn't a month. It is 10 fucking years. They had a whole damn meeting last night on your mental status being extremely impaired. Very, very bad shape. So... In fact, I typed something up. The guy said that you're claiming, you're claiming I have feelings for you. I've made it very clear. I do have feelings for you of deep disgust. You turn my stomach. You make me want to throw up. Everybody's so sick of you. I don't think you're understanding that for sure. How sick and tired of you everybody is. Nobody invited you to Oklahoma. I picked up everything I had in a life you know, like made my child. It's one thing when you're moving, it's different when you have to make your child leave their school, leave their friends, leave their life that they know and feel comfortable in and move and start all over again. We didn't do it once, we did it two times so that I would never again have to hear what you think and how you feel and all the nutbag shit you say. And all day long, is this guy a leak? Is that guy always a gym? Is it Al? Is it is it Judy? Is it is it Sam? Who the fuck is Sam? All day long, Sam's a new name. So we got a couple of names. We got Renee, Bruce, and Sam now. That Mr. Perry's asking, are they leaking? Parker, if Parker is not Judy Parker. He asked one day, all day along about, is Parker leaking? Is Judy leaking? Sometimes I'll type in my phone, is it Judy? Is it Judy? Is it Quick Trip? Is Judy leaking to Quick Trip? And Oh my God. Ask Judy. So, the, the stuff that I, the horror that I've been subjected to for a decade, because this guy will not leave me alone. I don't like you. I don't want you. It's not a two-way street. You are raping me. You're raping me. I've told you and told you and told you, leave me alone. Butt out of my business. Leave me alone. Butt out of my life. Get the fuck out of my life. I never introduced you to my friends and family. I would never take you around my family. Never introduced you to Oklahoma. So the first question you need to ask, okay, our judge is getting a little irritated with Judy Parker for being factually ignorant and crossing the line on some things. So there's a criminal case building or I wouldn't have the intel I have. Where where is it coming from? First, identify how am I getting, how did I get the Fabian puzzle? Who did I get? It got to me in jail. It's very specific to me. So first question you need to answer for the court, for the record, Mr. Perry, is how did I get that? Who got that to me? It's very, very specific to me. It's not your name on there. It's not you know, some random name on there. It's not a name. There's certain names that, you know, if you do probability, math, and statistics, and all of that stuff, what are the chances that this name would show up on this puzzle with it intersecting with the word hope just like this, with the word me, selfish little butt in, uh, per, you know, Perry, button in, uh, in, in the, you know, that it, that it denotes that. What, what would be the probability of Fabian's name showing up on that puzzle like that and the word hope like that Answer that question first and then second of all why his name and not someone else's Who got that to me who got me the information in the McNamara? I'm in a false arrester and coercer 
and nothing's changed. You're still trying to do it. In October 29, 2015, who got me? Mike Neely was drugged. He didn't do it. Months before, first responders confirmed that. Who got me the harassment? We're going to send her home, harass the hell out of her. When she complains about it, we're going to go into court and lie and say she's harassing us. And then followed up by Judge Kirkendall. I'm quoting judges, Mr. Perry. I'm quoting judges, sir. How is that happening? See, we don't have to answer those questions for you. I certainly don't. I'm not authorized to. You are looking for information so that you can obstruct justice. <clears throat> that is your intent. Here's the thing. You have a very high paid attorney. Ask your fucking attorney. He's not calling me asking me. You ask him. Your communications need to be directed to your attorney and your doctor. Mr. Perry, your communications are required by law to be directed to your attorney and your doctor. I'm neither a doctor or an attorney. I don't owe you shit. I don't owe you shit. Your contact to me is highly inappropriate. Highly inappropriate and disgusting. You make my skin crawl. Every time you pop up, it makes me want to throw up. I don't like you. And I get it. You're like this guy. I don't care what you want. I'm going to force myself on you. Ugh. Like this. For two minutes, no! You off. Zero minutes! I don't want to ever talk to you. What I don't ever want to hear your voice to you. What, please what don't bless you. But what please happened? leave me. I don't want to talk to you. You never shut up. So I don't know what the hell you think is going to be said. I'm saying what I feel and what I think and what I want in these podcasts. I record it because you have a problem with memory. You have memory problems. You know how many times we've been like, we've already said that. We've already said it a lot. We've already addressed that. We've already addressed it a lot. When y'all sit down and have your little meeting, and you decide, oh, let's get her pulled over. Well, let's, put, let's find a way to throw her back in jail so we can subjugate her. Let's at least sold her to those boys in Houston. We got to get our money. Right? We're going to starve her till she tells 